uh, welcome to the webinar. So before I start with the webinar, I would just like to give a brief introduction. During the webinar, I'll request you all to mute yourself so that there is no background noises. And you know, after the webinar, we will of course have a Q&A session wherein you can either unmute yourself and ask a question or type in, in the chat box. And during the webinar also, you can keep putting your questions in the chat box if any. Uh, but during the webinar, just request you all to keep yourselves on mute. So I am ACC Disha Chauhan, a proud fin um, Just a little background, I am an ACC member. And before, uh, you know, I've been teaching uh, ACC students, uh, you know, I teach business and technology, financial accounting, corporate law. Um, it's been now almost two years. Before that, I have corporate experience. I've worked with various big posts like KPMG, Ernst & Young, where I worked in, in the audit department and financial accounting. So, yeah, today's webinar is, of course, on knowing about ACC, that how exactly you can build a successful career in accounting or in general with the qualification ACCA. So, without, you know, wasting any time, we'll just quickly begin. So, this is the agenda for today's webinar. Of course, we are going to be discussing what exactly is ACC, what are the benefits, the eligibility, who is eligible to do ACC. Uh, you know, the exemptions that one can get and the fee structure, the syllabus in general, what are the job opportunities one could have. And of course, in the end, we will also have a like Q&A. If you have any queries, you could then unmute yourself and ask or you could, of course, keep on putting them in the chat box and I'll take up in the end of the session. All right. So let's start off with understanding what is ACCA. So ACC, of course, if you already don't know, it stands for Association of Chartered Certified Accountants. So this is basically a qualification wherein you are essentially becoming a chartered accountant, but a global chartered accountant. It's not confined to one particular country because it is recognized in more than 180 countries. So this qualification is globally accepted. If you're working in India, if you're working in Europe, you know, if you're working in the uh, Middle East, if you're working in Singapore, Australia, uh, UK, of course, and many other countries and regions wherein this qualification is highly recognized and accepted. Now, you know, ACC has around the globe around 230k members and 530k students. And of course, this number is increasing day by day. Uh, why ACC is so popular or in demand is, of course, because of one of the most important reason is flexibility. ACC offers flexibility. There is no grouping system in this professional qualification that you have to give three exams at a time or two exams at a time and have to clear all the three exams. If you fail, if any one also, then you have to give again. There's no such rule like that. You can simply give one exam at a time and move on to the next. Of course, there are options that you could give two exam in a sitting of three. But, you know, the ECC is giving you the flexibility. If you have other commitments, maybe you are in school or college or a working professional. So you don't maybe have so much time that you can give two exams in a sitting. Or maybe you don't even have time to sit in all the sittings. So there are four sittings in a year, which, of course, we'll be discussing in detail. But uh, there's no stringent rules or guidelines by ACC that you have to give uh, in every sitting or you have to give minimum this many exams in a sitting uh, compulsorily. So they give you the option that you can give one exam at a time. And then once you clear that, you can move forward. And if you fail one exam, then you just have to repeat that exam. You have to give that exam again and not any other in a group or something like that. It is, of course, a quick and cost-effective path for global qualification. Many, uh, you know, students and people have this myth that it is very expensive. Uh, so something that we need to understand, it is a global qualification. It's a professional qualification. So any which ways, professional qualifications are not going to be very cheap, right? Even if you do an MBA or if you do something like a CFA, the, uh, which is, of course, a highly reputed qualification, these are all very expensive qualifications. This is not going to come cheap to you. MBA, if you do from a reputed college, it is going to be very expensive. So ACC being a professional qualification, which is globally recognized, it comes to be very cost effective uh, when you compare it with the other qualifications. 
then of course there are exemptions also available for indian students uh, depending on of course you know how much uh, qualification you have of course we'll be discussing the exemptions in detail in another slide and it has a high percentage of passing compared to other again qualifications you know if you talk about ca the pass rate is pretty low and the reason for that is of course that it is not flexible right you have to give exams in a group if you don't clear that then you again have to repeat all those papers so ECC does not have those stringent requirements and because of that it becomes fairly easier to clear the exam as such you are studying the same thing you know you are becoming a chartered accountant at the end of the day so nobody is saying it's going to be very easy or ECC is easier than uh, CA or uh, let's say CPA because of the subject matter no it is easier because it is very flexible and of course, world's best qualified and most highly sought after accountants are part of this organization, which is ACC. ACC is, of course, trusted by various organizations. So all the big MNCs, the big foes hire ACC around the globe. And of course, ACC is always on top of their emerging trends, whether it's legislation or legal requirements helping to shape them. You know, ACC continuously develops itself and you know you will see uh, when you study and you see and you reach a particular level you will realize that there are so many you know uh, things changes that keeps on happening so it adapts itself if there's some new thing coming up ECC will adapt itself and include those things so that you know the people the students are equipped when they go and work professionally so this body is a global body for professional accountants and it is considered to be one of the most, uh, you know, forward thinking and innovative professional accounting body. So that's about ACCA. Now, why should one really pursue ACCA? What are the benefits that one could get? Of course, there are many benefits and I've just listed here a few of them because, you know, if we just keep on talking on the benefits, then it will be an hour or so. So here are the few major benefits which I feel uh, that definitely as an ACC member, even I feel that these are definitely the benefits uh, that you one would get if they pursue ACC if they finish ACC. First is of course global recognition. Like I said, ACC is recognized in over 180 plus countries. See, not many people have the aspiration of going abroad or working abroad. You know, India has many MNCs, big foes, and you can easily find a job as an ACC there. But there are people who want to maybe try that, okay, I'll just go for two years and maybe then come back and then be in India. Or maybe some wants to go, you know, uh, forever. They want to settle abroad. So by doing ACCA, you will have the option. You will always have the option to work in your home country. But also you'll have the option that, okay, I could go abroad. I could explore. Because ACCA, like I said, is globally recognized. So many of my, you know, colleagues, when I was in EY, Ernst & Young, so many of my colleagues, I used to work in the Gurgaon office. Now I see are in London. Most of them have gone to London. As we know, ECC is very, very, very much in demand in UK. And many of them have gone to Canada. Some of them have gone to Dubai. And they have easily been able to do so. Of course, they have worked a few years in India, gained that experience. And then they have applied. And, you know, of, of course, after your visa and everything is sorted out, you know, you have that option to go abroad. Now, like I said, not everybody wants to go. Someone, some people wants to stay here. And that also option is there. You could work in, because it's globally recognized, all the MNCs are also there in India. All the big foes are there in India. Even, uh, you know, BDO, Graham Thornton, companies like that who are like big five or big six, uh, generally people say, those companies also hire ACCA. So there is this global recognition. You are not doing a thing or a course which is only recognized in your country. Maybe because you don't know, right? Today you are here, you're happy. Maybe you get married and your spouse is working abroad. You have to shift. Now, if I had a qualification, let's say I just had a BCom degree, will I get a job easily abroad? No, possibly not. But if I have a qualification like ACC, it will become fairly easier for me to get that job. Another benefit is, of course, like I mentioned also earlier, is definitely flexibility. ACC has no gripping system. All the power is given to the students. You decide at a particular level which subject you want to give first, right? There is no foundation that first paper you have to give this, second that. In a particular level, you can choose any subject. You can give one subject, uh, one paper at a time. You could give two paper at a time. 
or you could skip a sitting. Maybe I don't want to give in the March sitting. I'll straight away go to the June sitting. So all these options are given to you. It is super flexible. You can study from any time, anywhere. You know, if you are like studying online, especially like if you're with FinFram Global, we provide you video lectures. You can study anytime, anywhere. We give you the contacts of your faculties and, you know, timely faculties come on Zoom, online, uh, on weekends, discuss with you. You also have the faculties, WhatsApp numbers, email IDs. So it becomes easier for you because someone who's working may not have find time to go to a particular tuition center, right? So these benefits are offered. Um, so of course, this be becomes like a very big thing and it's really flexible in that terms. Cost effectiveness, like I said, of course, any professional qualifications that you are going to be doing is going to lead to some cost. Like you have to incur some cost. Nothing is going to come free, right? But when you compare to other professional qualifications, ACC term, uh, you know, drops down to quite being cost effective, especially if you are studying with an affordable learning partner like FinTram Global. And, you know, we are one of the most affordable ACC learning partners out there. So if you're studying with a affordable learning partner, some people do self-studies for one or two subjects. And in all, when you combine this flexibility element, because, you know, you have the choice, you can just concentrate on one paper at a time. So the chances of you clearing that exam is also then high, right? Rather than giving three or four papers at a time, then you might fail in one and then you might again have to apply, right? So that cost will increase. So that's why since this flexibility is there, you give one paper at a time, just pay for that paper, then you move on to the next, then you pay for that. So that cost effectiveness is always there. You don't have to pay one time lump sum amount that, okay, for all the papers I have to pay now. There's nothing like that. It is a very well-structured program. All the subjects that are there in ACCA have been well thought of. They have not included any subject or anything which is not going to be a use of you. You know, when we study in uh, schools uh, or colleges, there are sometimes we are taught few things which we really feel, why are we being taught this? Am I ever going to be using this? Like, for example, when I was studying maths in my school, you know, back in 10th or 11th, 12th, we used to study trigonometry and all of that. And I being, you know, I had, of course, taken accounting uh, stream. I always thought, where will I use trigonometry in my life? Until date, to be honest, I have not used it. But in ACC, everything that I've studied, I can really say that somewhere or the other, I have used it or that knowledge has come in handy. Whether it's learning about finance, of course, when you grow up, you do some investment. So that knowledge is important. Whether it's learning about accounting, auditing, of course, in the workplace, when I've worked in the audit department, I have all the knowledge that I've gained from ACC, I've really applied it. So it is a well-structured program. They have only included those things which are actually really important. They are not teaching you just everything and anything. They're only teaching you what is really required in this world, real world and this working world. Then this certification offers various possibilities, right? ACC, when you do, it's not that, okay, I just have accounting as an option. No, of course, we'll be discussing this in another slide. What are the opportunities or possibilities? But, you know, you could go in finance, you could go in tax, auditing, accounting. You could also do um, various other things, you know, technology things uh, that are also available these days. So this certification is offering many possibilities. It's not just that, okay, I just have to do the normal basic accounting. No, I myself, you know, went into auditing, then I went to financial accounting. And now, of course, I'm in teaching and, you know, other things as well. So this certification definitely offers you many possibilities. It's not just that, okay, you study this and you just have the option to do accounting. No, there are various other opportunities and fields available. Now, what is the ACCA's eligibility criteria? Who exactly is eligible to be pursuing ACCA? So for starters, if you want to be eligible for ACC registration, you should have qualified your 10 plus 2 exams. Uh, you know, there is, of course, an option who you can start right after your class 10, which we'll be discussing in the second point. But, uh, you know, if you are doing, if you're completed your 10 plus 2 exams, then you can just start off right away. Uh, the requirement is, of course, that you have an aggregate of 65% in maths or accounts and English. And remaining all the subjects, you should have a minimum of 50%. If you do not meet this criteria, do not worry. You can still pursue ACCA with the second point. So if you have not met the first criteria or you have just cleared your 10th class, 
then you can still do ACCA through the FIA route, which is your foundation in accountancy route. Now, FIA route is nothing different. You know, in ACCA, we have uh, the first level is knowledge level, wherein we have three exams, right? FIA route also starts from those three exams only. And once you clear those exams, you directly go to the skill level. And in your ECC route also, after you complete those three exams, you go to the skill level. So it's pretty much the same. The naming is just different. Otherwise, you're studying the same thing altogether. So there's not to worry. You know, uh, one could start right after class 10th. Many students who are with their 11th or 12th standard. Many students realize do in college. Some students realize even later do when they're working. But I would always suggest start as early as possible. As early you'll start, as early you'll finish. When you uh, start early, you might become an ACCA in your early 20s. And then, of course, the job opportunities that you will get will be far better than you would be getting just from your college degree. So what are the exemptions available? Now, or of course, I've just mentioned few exemptions here. You might have done some other course. And if you want to check the exemptions for that, you can just go to google and write down acca exemption calculator you, you click on that you will be direct you know you'll get options from i think on the top first or second only you'll get the official acca uh, website for the exemption calculator you just click on that therein they'll ask you which university you have studied from what qualification you have done and then you can calculate the exemptions However, for some popular courses, which usually we see students from the commerce background, we have listed the exemptions. So if you are a BCom student or an MCom qualified student, that is you have completed your BCom or MCom, you will get four subjects exempted. So BT, MA, FA, these are your three knowledge level subjects exempted and law of the skill level is also exempted. You straight away move on to your other uh, you know, subjects of your skill level. For MBA qualified students, there's just three exemptions. Again, your knowledge level, BT, MA, FA. If, however, you are a CA, IPCC cleared student, you have done your CA, IPCC, you will get five subjects exempted. You know, you will get your knowledge level exempted, which is BT, MA, FA. You will also get tax exempted and double A, which is your, uh, you know, audit, uh, audit and assurance. This is also a skill level paper. Then exemptions for qualified CAs, you can see are many. Uh, you know, you will get your knowledge level exempted, you will get your skill level exempted, and you can straight on move on to your professional level. These are, of course, for those people who are qualified CAs, chartered accountants, because many CAs pursue ACCA, because as we know, ACCA follows IFRS standards, right? These are international financial reporting standards, which are followed uh, globally. Uh, apart from America, almost everybody uses that, right? And once you do CA, Chartered Accountancy, you, of course, study the Indian accounting standards. So because most of the CAs these days in India, since we have so many MNCs before, they work in these MNCs and companies. They need the knowledge of IFRS and hence they also do ACCA. All right, moving on to the ACCA fee structure. So this is the fee structure. Uh, of course, this would change. Uh, the numbers would a little bit change every year, but more or less it's the same. So the registration fee is 30 pounds. Everything in ACC is paid in pounds uh, because, you know, it is a UK qualification as such. So you could convert that easily. Uh, one pound is these days around 90 rupees. So registration fee is 30 pounds. But of course, if you are registration with us, Fintram Global, this would be free for you. Then there's an annual subscription fee. This is something that students will have to pay annually. Approximately, it's £122. Again, if you're with Fintram, you will get a 50% off for first year. Then if you are eligible for any exemptions, then you have to, of course, pay the exemption fee also. For example, let's say you are a BCom qualified student. So how many exemptions you would get? Four, right? So what will be the fee for that? It will be approx 400 pounds. But if you are doing it with Fintram, it will be around 60 pounds. Then, of course, exam fees. Now, this is something that you pay directly to ACCA. There is no, uh, Fintram doesn't collect anything. So you directly go to the website, you book your exams, right? Everything is online. You select the which sitting you are giving, which subject you are giving, and you directly pay that exam fee to ACCA. And of course, then there is coaching fees, which will, of course, again, depend from the coaching partner or learning partner you are doing with every learning partner will have different fees the fees that basically you are paying for your books and for the you know uh, 
study material and the lectures that you are opting for. All right. Then this is the ACCA syllabus as such. So, um, like I said, there are three levels, right? You have your applied knowledge level, wherein there are three subjects, business technology, management accounting, financial accounting. Now, this level, I would say, is, of course, the easiest because if you are especially coming from a commerce background, accounting background, if in 11th and 12th you have taken commerce, you know, you would have studied uh, business studies, economics, accountancy, right? So this level is almost at that same level. So all the, you know, business studies and economics that you studied, that is your business and technology subject. You know, your, your normal accounting that you studied, your trial balance, journal entries, balance sheet, PNL, that's your financial accounting. Then the management style accounting, the cost accounting that you have studied is your management accounting. So this uh, level is fairly easy. And also this level is your on-demand exam, which we'll be discussing in another slide. What are your on-demand and session exams? Then you have applied skills level. Here you have your law paper, you have your performance management, taxation paper, financial reporting, audit assurance, um, financial management. So this is your skill level. And like I said, at any particular level, you can give any exam. So maybe I want to give taxation first and then performance management. So I can do that. So in a particular level, you can give any exam in any order. Then the final level is, of course, your strategic professional level, wherein there are two essentials. That is, these are the compulsory subjects that you have to give, which is your strategic business leader and strategic business reporting. After that, you have option to pick any two from these four. So you can decide. Maybe you are more interested in finance, so you can do advanced financial management and advanced performance management. Maybe I want to work in tax. I am more inclined towards tax. So I might do advanced taxation with any one of. Maybe I like audit more. So I would do advanced audit. So me, when I was, uh, you know, studying, I was always inclined towards audit more. So I took advanced audit and advanced performance management. But someone who wants to work in, let's say, tax department, they should obviously take advanced taxation. Apart from that, once you clear, once you're studying all these subjects, you're called an ACCA student, right? Once you clear all these exams, you become an ACCA affiliate, right? After that, you have to gain three years of relevant work experience and you will to be called as an ACCA member. And of course, once you become an ACCA member, you can use the words ACCA after your name. Now, these three years of relevant work experience doesn't mean that once you, you know, study, you pass all the exams, only from that day, the three years you work will be counted. No, maybe I have worked previously in a company which is, into accounting finance and then I started ACC even that one year also will be counted maybe once I'm while I'm as an ACC student many students who are at the skill level usually you know easily get jobs and even I was working in these big fours when I was a student uh you know not as a member or an affiliate so I was also working as a student so you would get jobs as a student also mostly when you are almost on the verge of completing your skill level so well, when you start working, those years will be counted. So three years of relevant work experience, this you can do while you are studying also. And there's, of course, one ethics and professional skills module that you have to do. This is just an online module, basic training. Some slides will be there. You have to go through that and then, you know, answer a few questions and this module will be done. So once all of this is complete, then like I said, you will become an ACCA member. Now, about ACC exam. So, like I said, there are two types of ACC exam. One is your on-demand CBEs. Now, CBE is computer-based exams. ACC now has only computer-based exam. Pen and paper exams are not there anymore. And then you have your session CBEs. So, for your knowledge level, which was BT, MA, FA, and one paper of skill level, which is law, these four papers are, or these four subjects are your on-demand exam. That is, you can give these exams any day of the year, 365 days available. So if I want to give the exam, I just have to go to the website, book. I think before a week or two weeks, you have to book and then you can just give the exam from your computer. This, of course, allows you flexibility because you can sit them any time of the year. You know, whenever you think you are prepared, you can just go ahead and give them. Also, the results are also immediately uh, you know, displayed at the end of the exam. So you know whether you've cleared it or not. Pass mark for all ACC exams is, of course, 50. And on-demand CBs are multiple choice questions sort of an exam. There is no as such uh, subjective. You don't have to write anything. It's all MCQs or MTQs. 
and you know the result is of course uploaded also in your account within 72 hours for all the other subjects that you have right all the other subjects that we have here from performance management till the end and then all the strategic professional these are all your session cbs now, session CBs, there are four sessions. In a year, four sessions are there uh, for ECCA. You have exams in March, June, September, December, right? And you need to book these exams ahead of the deadline. Uh, ECCA announces the deadline that, okay, this is the deadline. You have to book till this period. And once you book, you just have to go give your exam. Again, it's a computer-based exam. And you will going to receive your result approximately six weeks after you take your exam so many now the june sitting is coming in right so next next week the june sitting will start acca provides you with the timetable that okay let's say monday this is going to be pm i'm just giving an example tuesday is going to be tax so acca will give you the timetable and accordingly you will have to give that exam for on demand cb you can decide when you want to give that exam so like i said this flexibility that is offered by acc is very beneficial because you know Many people who are, let's say, even studying, maybe they have exams in March, so they can skip that sitting, they can give in June. Many people who are working as a working professional, when I was also working, you know, we had this busy season, which was from Jan to March. So I used to not pick March as the sitting. I used to then give exams in June, September, and December sitting. So this flexibility is offered to you. You can decide that, okay, I have time, I can study, maybe let's give two exams in a sitting. Maybe I have other commitments, so let me just give one exam in the sitting. So all that option is definitely available to you. Then how can Fintram support? Now, Fintram Global is the gold approved learning partner of ECC. So you know there is quality there. It is one-stop solution. You can just you know contact us. We will help you with registration, coaching, training, mentoring, and even placement. Uh, you know, we also have our exam pass assurance. There is affordable fee structure. You know, we are one of the most affordable learning providers out there. You can go to our website, check out our prices with our other people, other competitors, you could say, or other learning partners who provide ECCA. Our prices are really affordable. And also you can take up free demo session, right? If you want to see that, oh, how the class is going to be. Can just contact us take a demo session we'll provide you with the uh link and you can just watch the demo and you can understand how the class goes about we also at knowledge level have live online classes uh you know the batch is already running for um, fa and ma and for other we have uh, you know this uh like i said video lectures and apart from that the faculties come online on weekends on zoom to discuss with you things you have faculties, WhatsApp number, email ID, wherein you can just put in your doubts there. For all you students, you could also have uh, get some special scholarship, which is worth up to 1 lakh 12,500. Like I said, 100% interactive classes with pre and post session support. And of course, we have a very good faculty team committed. We have qualified ACCAs, qualified CAs, uh, as the faculty who are teaching these subjects from past many years now and who have been producing great results too. Now, another important thing is, of course, the job opportunities. Any qualification that we do, whatever we study, ultimately we do it because we want to get a job, right? Now, some of the most popular fields that are there after ACC, and of course there are many, but I've just listed the popular ones, is you could become an auditor, you could go in risk management, you could go in tax, financial accounting, you could go in treasury, and there are many more, right? So people go into compliance also and uh, various other assurance, many other uh, opportunities are there. Like I said, some of the companies that hire ACCAs, and this is just a you know short list. There are, of course, many. All the big fours, whether it's your KPMG, EY, Deloitte, PwC, then there's Credit Sue, State Street, Morgan Stanley, Barclays, BDO, Grand Thornton, and many more, actually. If you want to actually see, you can just uh, type in Google ACC jobs. You also have an ACC job separate portal wherein they list down all the uh, jobs that are available in various cities of India. So one can just, you know, simply go and have a look at that also. So uh, many students have this myth that, oh, by doing ECCA, we will not get a job in India. So this is an absolute myth, right? I am an ECCA. I have so many friends, colleagues who are ECCAs who are happily working in India. Not everybody goes abroad. 
ACS is just gives you that platform that you have that option. You can work in India and you also have the option in the future. Maybe you would want to go. You can then also go abroad as well because that option is there. If I was doing a qualification which is only recognized in my country, then I'm limiting myself, right? In this world wherein, you know, many people have these opportunities, uh, want some opportunity like this that, you know, you can travel, you can try some other country also. And then, of course, you could come back also. There's no necessity that you have to settle down there. And also in India, like I said, all these big fours, you will find not only big cities uh, that only is there in Delhi, Pune, uh, Mumbai, they are in other cities also. Apart from big fours, I see so many firms, even Indian CA firms also, you know, hire ACCA. Of course, you don't have the signing authority, but they do hire ACCA. It's not like they won't. Indian companies also hire ACCA. MNCs, like I said, just not the big fours, but MNCs hire ACCA. Big fours obviously prefer actually ACCs because like I said, they have global clients. So someone who would just know Indian accounting standards is not going to be very useful for them. That's why many CEOs, do ACC or either do a diploma in IFRS, which is again provided by ACC because uh, only doing Indian accounting standards, you will probably fit for your Indian market. That is your only Indian companies. Uh, but the MNCs that are there in India, which are there, of course, you also know that they prefer someone who have a qualification, who can understand the international standards. So these days, whenever you see a job posting, either it's on LinkedIn or Nokia.com, if it's related to an accounting position, you'll always see qualification. They'll mention CA slash ACCA slash CPA. So, you know, all of these are considered one in the sense that they understand if you're a CA, then probably you could do a, you know, diploma in IFRS or something like that and get equipped with that. If you are an ACCA, then they already know you know the IFRS. So that's why they prefer ACCA. So this would really be called as a myth if you think that no, you will not get a job. The reason for you not getting a job could be another thing, not your qualification that I can definitely guarantee. Maybe you're not good in giving interview, you get too nervous. So because of that, if you're getting rejected, that's a different case. But because of this qualification, I will not ever say that one will not get a job. As an ACCA, I have so many friends, so many colleagues who do ACCA. They usually not only get jobs, they're able to switch jobs between these big fours. You know, most of the ACCA you'll see in these big fours switching. Like even I worked in KPMG, then I switched to EY. So people keep on switching to get better, you know, uh, pay scales or more opportunities or different opportunities. So, you know, it is definitely a myth to think that, oh, as an ACCA, I will not get a job in India. You will easily get a job in India. All the MNCs, big fours, everything is there in India now. And India is only, you know, uh, developing on the foreign direct investment is only increasing. So more and more MNCs are going to come. And, you know, ACC is the need of the art. And like I said, it is something, uh, it's the professional body which is increasing day by day. And it is an old body. It's not like it has just come into existence. It's been there since so many years. So you know that, you know, uh, that uh, sort of security is there. You don't have to worry that what if my qualification is not going to be valid because there's not going to be any problem like that. Like I said, it is recognized in 180 plus countries. And also, uh, you know, ACC has this MOU with various countries wherein like with they have with Canada and with Australia also, I think, wherein you do ACC, you can go and work there, even though Canada's have their own CPAs, right? But because you have done this ACC, they know you have that acumen, the knowledge. So it is easy for you to uh, fit in or find that job. All right. So these were the job opportunities. Uh, if you want to know about the ACC course, if you want to take up the ACC course and you know, want to register, you can definitely contact Fintram Global. Like I said, for the special scholarship, also contact Fintram Global. I have provided you with the website. This is the website. You can visit that and also a phone number. You can just WhatsApp on this phone number to know more. Uh, you can uh, definitely visit our website. I will suggest everyone to do that once to just see the, you know, the courses that we are offering at the prices and just take up a demo session. Also do follow us on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, channel name is Fintram Global. On YouTube, we provide you know, many informative videos wherein we talk about ACCA and other things also, but particularly for ACCAs, we really uh, put in very informative videos, which I feel is going to be uh, quite beneficial for you all. 
So if you have any questions now, I see a question in the chat box, but if anyone has any other questions, they can put it in the chat box. Ma'am, if I have taken applied mathematics as a subject instead of mathematics, do I still qualify? Sia Chopra. I'm not sure, Sia, what is applied mathematics? Are you uh, like, are you a CBC student or ICAC? I'm not sure what is exactly applied mathematics. I've not heard about it. I mean, as long as it has the basic maths, I think it should be good. Because in CBC, I, at least in my time, it was just mathematics. I'm not sure what this applied mathematics exactly is. Could you elaborate on that? If anyone has any other questions, feel free to put them in the chat box. And I will take up from there. If you have any qual uh, question regarding this. Anybody, any questions? Nobody has any questions. Everybody is clear. What is it he's here? So like I said, do visit the website, our website, and also follow us on YouTube. And, you know, we post many important things over there. And also, you know, with regards to the upcoming webinars or seminars that we have, if any one of you stays in Delhi then we also do seminars in our office in Vakaspuri so you can you know follow us on YouTube Instagram to know about that uh, ma'am can you advise coaching fees for in the same time sorry uh, I, I, you were not audible clearly could you repeat your question ma'am uh, uh, can you advise the coaching fees at same time so it depends, right? Uh, every subject will have a different fee. Knowledge level fees is, of course, lesser than skill and profession. Like I said, you just visit the website and everything is mentioned on the website clearly. Like you go to this fintram.com, you let's just select knowledge level, you select one subject and you can just see the fees. And of course, if you, you know, take a, like a package, then you would get discounts. So you can just WhatsApp on this number to know more about the fees structure and the benefits or the scholarship benefits that one could get but everything actually is listed on the website you know uh, the fees is actually very affordable when you compare to other learning partners and fintram is a gold approved acc learning partner so you know that there, there, there is quality and there is that assurance that you know good results and also uh, you know if you want to know how the you know lecture is as such you can of course book a free demo session also that also you can do from the website you can just book a free demo you'll get the demo session and then you can understand okay this is how the lecture goes on anyway uh, whatever the classes we get on fintram it will be live sessions or recorded yeah. one so like I said, uh, at knowledge level, we do have uh, live batches also. Uh, like right now, already the FA and MA batch has started. Uh, so you, you can contact when will be the next batch. Otherwise, uh, we have from skills and professional levels, there are recorded lectures. But like I said, you get the recorded lectures, but the faculty is there coming online every weekend uh, on Zoom. Uh, you know, taking a session on any general thing regards to that subject. Also, you get faculty's WhatsApp number, email ID in case you have any queries. And the reason, of course, the video lectures recorded are more popular because most of the students are, you know, either working or they are studying. So everyone's time slot is different. So it becomes easier for them to just watch it anytime, anywhere. And then, of course, they can contact the faculty if any doubt they have whenever if they have any doubt and any which ways faculty do come live on zoom on weekends and you know and there so you can ask your questions but for knowledge levels we do have live online batches or live class even in our daily office uh because puri so you can reach out to the team on this number you can whatsapp to know more about the details like which batch is running right now Does anyone has any questions? If anyone has any questions, please uh, ask now or put them in the chat box. Otherwise, I would end the session. I don't want to waste anyone's time or hold you guys up.
So if anyone has any other questions, please put it in the chat box. Webhav asks, ma'am, Fintram gives job placement or not? Uh, Fintram does uh, help you with the job placements also. We also have a Telegram channel, uh, you know, especially for our students wherein we, you know, inform them of all the job postings that uh, are there. You know, we are notified first and then we tell that to our students and, you know, so that our students can apply first. So Fintram does help with that also. We do have a Telegram channel which our students join and, you know, we post various job postings there. Anybody, any other questions? Does anyone have any other question? Okay, then looks like no one has any other questions. So I will end this session then. Uh, thank you everyone for joining in. I hope this was helpful. And to know more or if you have any other doubts or maybe after the session you realize you have a question. Like I said, you can WhatsApp on this number to know more about the ACCA course and qualification and definitely visit our website to know more. Follow us on YouTube, Instagram for more such updates and informative videos. Thank you all for joining in. Um, have a great Sunday. Thank you all. all right. Thank you, ma'am. You too. Have a good day. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye.